Hi, this is Kara, and welcome to Kara's Kitchen. Today, I want to tell you about my enameled cast iron Dutch oven from Lodge. This one is a blue seven and a half quart Dutch oven. It comes in several sizes and colors. This Dutch oven can be used to broil, braise, bake, or roast up to 500 degrees in your oven. It can also be used to saute, simmer, or fry on the stovetop. As you can see, a Dutch oven can be a useful, versatile tool for your kitchen. So I really love this Dutch oven. It's one of my favorite pieces of equipment in my kitchen. And one of the favorite recipes that I have that I make in the Dutch oven is carne quesada. Now this recipe is my mother's recipe who she got from a lady that helped her take care of my grandma when she was sick. So it's kind of a special recipe for our family and we usually make it um, in any big family gatherings. And I'm going to make it for you today. And I hope you and your family will enjoy it as much as we do. Okay, so this is the recipe for carne quesada. And the recipe calls for two to three pounds of stew meat. But instead of stew meat, I have this roast. I'm going to cut it up into cubes just like it would be stew meat. And I think it'll work just fine. Now that we have the meat cubed, we're going to season it with salt and pepper. Okay, so now we're going to add the meat to a Ziploc bag and then I'm going to put flour in the bag and then we're going to coat the meat with the flour. Okay, so I've chopped um, half of an onion, half of a large onion, and about four or five cloves of garlic. ready to put the meat in the pot and get that browned up. First I'm going to add some oil to the pot. Now be sure to preheat your pot to make sure that it's hot and so that way when you put the meat in the pot that it sears and it uh, browns the meat. So let's put the meat in. I'm going to brown this and when it's done, I'm going to take it out of the pot and then we'll brown the uh, onions and the garlic. Okay, the meat is brown. So I'm going to go ahead and take the meat out of the pot and put it on a plate and then I'm going to cook the onions and the garlic. I'm going to 
add some salt to the onions and it will help the onions release some of the liquid and it'll add a really good flavor to our dish. Okay, so the onions look like they're about done and I'm gonna go ahead and return the meat into the pot and then we're gonna add some more ingredients to that. I'm gonna give that a quick stir. And the next thing we're gonna add is two tablespoons of beef bouillon. And two cups of water. And a can of diced tomatoes. I like to use Rotel tomatoes because they have more flavor and they give a little bit more spice to the dish. So I'm going to stir these together. And then I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit until this starts to boil. And once it starts to boil, then I'm gonna bring the temperature back down to a simmer. Then I'm gonna put the pot, the lid back on the pot, and this will cook for about two hours. I'll check it every once in a while just to see what the water level is. And if there's uh, the water level has gone down, then I'll add just a little bit more water to it. So you'll need Okay, so we're going to let this sit for a couple of hours. We're going to check it every once in a while, and then we'll come back and add the final ingredients in the last 30 minutes of cooking. Okay, so we're going to check the carne quesada and see if we need to add some water to it, and we're also going to stir it. It does look like it needs some water. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it, maybe a quarter cup to a half a cup. And I'm going to give it another stir. It looks like it's coming along really good. And maybe another 30 minutes, it'll be done. Okay, so now I'm going to chop up some cilantro. I have some cilantro that I've washed and dried, and I'm going to go ahead and chop it up about a quarter cup, and this will be added into the meat at the very end, and um, it adds great flavor to your carne quesada. end of the cook time. So I'm going to go ahead and add the remaining ingredients to the pot. So we have one tablespoon of cumin, two teaspoons of chili powder, I'm going to add some more pepper, I'm going to give that a quick stir just to combine those seasonings. It is really starting to smell like carne quesada now. It is just wonderful. It has that really wonderful cumin smell to it. And now the last ingredient I'm going to add is some chopped cilantro, about a quarter cup. Of course, you can add more if you prefer a good cilantro taste.
I'm gonna give that a quick stir and then we're gonna put the lid back on the pot and let it cook for another 30 minutes and then it will be perfectly done. Okay, it's been a couple of hours and I'm gonna check the carne quesada to make sure it's ready and make sure that the meat is tender and that there's a nice gravy for the, for the meat. Okay, that looks perfect. The meat is perfectly tender. I can cut it with the spoon and it has a nice thick gravy that goes with it. Now, okay, so now the carne quesada is ready. The tortillas are ready. And now I'm going to make some guacamole to go with our carne quesada. And we also have some Julio salsa because Julio's is the best. And I have some queso fresco that we can add to it. And we have a little bit of cilantro left over. And if we wanted to add that to it, we could add that to it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get this prepared. And we'll come back and show you the results of what this lovely carne quesada looks like when it's ready to eat. Okay, so now we have our tortilla with some carne quesada on it, and it is delicious. It smells so good. And I just wanted to show you we've got some guacamole here that we could add to it. We've got some of the cilantro left over, and we have some salsa and some queso fresco, and some beautiful tomatoes that were grown in the garden and picked this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you how I do mine. I like to add a little bit of guacamole and then some queso fresco. And that's really it. It's just very simple. I might add some salsa later. Maybe the second one that I have. But um, that is a carne, uh, carne quesada with homemade tortillas. Thank you for watching, and I hope you make this recipe because you will love it.